quench my thirst, baby. Got to get that quick inside me. Quench my hot spot. Don't stop turning, burning, yearning for my love. Uh. Quench my hot desires. Please stop me quick and put out the fire. Now throw me in a trench, cause I gotta get trench. Just quench. I'm so thirsty, thirsty. Just quench. I'm so thirsty, thirsty. Won't you please have what you just Trench, cause I gotta get drenched just Hello everyone Welcome to Sonic Tonic Saturday Darren Kramer here Excited you're with me Special edition Cinco de Mayo coming up on Tuesday We're gonna look into some Latin rhythms And lyrics that I've written on a song of mine called Quench. That's what you're listening to right now. So this is the fun part of the song. It's actually in the track on the CD. Go buy your fridge and uh, grab a beverage. Here's our tonic of the day. Party time on the CD. Now it turns. Latin. That's clobby rhythm there. It's a little different than the traditional. That's what we're going to talk about. It's my band DKO. Two trumpets, saxophone, trombone. There's the lyrics. Time for a bone solo. That's Quench. I see uh, Arturo Gomez is chiming in here. Awesome, man. Good to see you. Uh, He said he sure as heck wouldn't drink Corona beer right now. I'm a brave soul. Um, So grab whatever you want. It never has to be alcoholic even. Um, Sonic Tonic 
is just the term I used to combine music and um, beverages, and you kind of compare the two about all of the ingredients make up the greater whole, and maybe paying attention to a few more of the ingredients can make the whole better, which hopefully it makes your life better. Um, here's the definition. I showed this last week. Sonic Tonic, if you're interested. I'm here every fr uh, Saturday, 5 o'clock, Denver time. And um, so that was Quench, and that was a song I wrote many years ago, like 20 years ago. And uh, the vocal there in the salsa section was uh, Francisco Mejias, who's uh, the great band leader uh, of Conjunto Colores, which I have played in for about 20 some years. Um, actually, you know what, realistically, I think I played my first gig in about 91. So we're talking 29 years. Um, great band, they play all over the state. Um, my sister's in that band too, and uh, she's on that recording. She's in DKO, and this coming Friday, we're doing a Funky Friday, and she is my guest. Uh, let me show you that. If anybody wants to hear it, some great trumpet playing through my electric trombone DJ rig here with cool effects, and um, we're going to have lots of fun. So stories about Matchbox 20 and... Uh, touring with, on uh, cruise ships and all kinds of stuff. Living in Vegas, great salsa band there years ago called Tropical Splash. Three nights a week, 11 p.m. to 3 a.m. That was our schedule. So um, let's get into this thing. So you were listening to um, kind of a hybrid mix of funk and salsa. I love that sound. But the actual salsa thing is very um, popular and it's very uh, traditional in the sounds and the rhythms that happen. And I just wanted to quick, maybe if you haven't ever thought about it, you just go, oh yeah, that sounds kind of like it's got the Latin flavor. <laughs> it's like, what does that mean? And I think it means um, this sound here. Let's listen to it right here. Let me uh, mute this track so you can hear some stuff. See what this is like. Right? That is a different sound. You're like, that sounds like salsa. What is that? Why? The basic thing is the main rhythm that's pulsing through this whole thing that's different than rock music or jazz music or country is that there's the clave. So in a lot of Latin American countries and Latin rhythms, the clave is king. So that's this first sound we hear. That. It's a two-bar pattern. This one is two-three, meaning there's two hits on the first part, and the second half of the rhythm has three. So cheer it again. One more time. One, two, a one, two, three, four. Can you still hear it? It's in there. It's actually two pieces of wood. So one thing that gets kind of confusing is claves are an instrument and clave is a rhythm. And really, that's doing both. The clave is playing the clave. It's like, okay, I need a drink. <sighs> Okay, uh, <laughs> um, so check this out. There's the clave, and then there's this rhythm called the cascada, which is the second rhythm you hear come in there. And it's a very specific rhythm. It sounds really complicated, but it also is a two-bar rhythm. Da 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 And that was the top. Two, ready, and da 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 Check it out. So that's the timbales that are playing that. Da, 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 da. So in rock music, we have, what's the clave? I mean, maybe the snare on two and four? 
And the cascada would kind of be the hi hat, which is literally in, in rock music, you know, like Cool Van Halen or um, uh, Led Zeppelin or something. Pink Floyd would be eight notes. That's pretty sterile. Man, the Latin American thing is super hip. Listen how complicated that is. Here it is again. So that's this pulsing rhythm underneath. Clave, cascada. Then we have, you hear the piano come in, that's playing a rhythm called the montuno. Very classic. That's really maybe the main thing you hear when you're going, oh, that's like kind of salsa-ish. That's sort of Latin-y. Very cool. And then the other thing you hear is the bass, and he's playing a thing called the tumbao. So it's a very specific rhythm where it hits on one, the end of two, and then four. And then after that, it kind of is only doing beat four and the end of two. So if that's confusing to you, um, yeah, let's, okay. Uh, we're not here to freak out about anything, just like shedding light on some things. But notice the bass. Let's just, um, Hear the bass. Let's go over there. Four. Four, one. So it's all fitting like this, like a puzzle. It's super cool. And almost all Latin music has this underneath it, if it's like salsa in that general vibe. Um, I'm sure some people will go, Darren, where are you? Yeah, I know. It's a very complicated subject, but this isn't supposed to be complicated. I'm just letting you know. These are kind of the four main rhythms that happen underneath all this cool stuff. So if you hear the section with... Quench, let's check that out and see how that sounds. And this is really cool. This is part of this remix. I sampled a little bit of it yesterday in the Funky Friday. Um, I put a bunch of cool other stuff on there, but you can hear the Latin part of it. Hear that piano? And then I let it go away. That's just all modern stuff. But listen to that cowbell. And then... I love that. Mixing the old with the new. Here's the clave right here with the breath. So that's all underlying underneath all this stuff. So if you love um, J-Lo, you love uh, Santana, definitely Mark Anthony, um, where it's kind of more of a poppy thing sometimes. And then you go, why does this have that extra thing? Because there's Latin percussion in there and or Montuno playing underneath with this funk straight American thing that we have, right? Um, I love that synergy of it, you know? Um, so if you guys have questions, let me, let me check uh, Facebook here. Jose, Jose Espino, he's the great <laughs> percussionist in uh, Conjunto Colores, one of my best friends, and the most avid Bronco fan you could ever find. He has conga drums with Broncos on it. Um, awesome, thanks for being here, Jose. He just said he agrees with Arturo that Corona is just um, lame and... 
plus it tastes gross. <laughs> Catherine, great to see you here. She's eating guacamole. Julie's back. Thank you so much. Um, and that Montuno in um, Quench, I believe, was Andy Nevola, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I can play a pretty mean... Um, let's check it out with that. So here's the piano. Let, let's give that a little volume. Pump up the volume, baby! Um, yeah, we need a little more on this. So here's... Whenever you hear that da-da, that's beat one. That's the beginning of the pattern. Ready, go. So let me do that over this. Um... That's fun. Just that little bit makes my elbow hurt. So man, Andy Nevola, uh, Victor Mej uh, Mejias that's around, um, no, Mestez, Victor Mestez, uh, uh, Justin Adams, these great keyboard players, John up in Boulder, um, Pete Ellingson. Man, those guys can play, Ben, ben Jansen, they can play like two or three hours of salsa and I look over and they're just so relaxed, but that's the only way you can do it because they're literally going ba ba da be da do da do 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 right? Um, one cool thing that I want to mention is I love writing songs and incorporating this kind of thing. So listen to that same tune, this one we were listening to. Not that. Let's mute that baby. In fact, I'll just do it here. So, check this out. I actually wrote all the parts for the trombone that were the Latin rhythm parts. So, this is a tune called Skeleton. Cl clave. Cascada. I'm playing it on trombone. Mambo. I mean, Montuno. Now, harmony with the Montuno. And then, Tumbao. Clave, Cascada, Montuno, Harmony, because there's two notes that you're playing on the piano, then Tumbao. So check it out with all the Latin instruments in there underneath. I combined them. Fun. I mean, it's kind of geeked out, but that's my nature. Um, and then you want geeked out. How about Salsa Montuno in not in 4-4, not in this even pacing, but in 7-8. A bar of 4-4, four, four, then a bar of 7-8. It kind of makes you a hiccup. <laughs> That's fun. That's a tune called Skeleton. And I also did it with, um, I wrote a 20 minute Latin suite. The three main things that are in uh, Latin music as far as like the styles, cha-cha, mambo, 
and a bolero, which is like a ballad. Um, on the cha-cha, th I did this. This was like uh, when I was teaching at DU, the student asked me to write a tune and then it turned into this whole thing. Um, so listen to the brass, the trumpets and the trombones and the saxes playing what the rhythm section would normally be doing. Oh, come here. St stop, stop all. Up. Oh. and we need volume, don't we? Here we go. That's usually what the piano does. And then the piano left hand. Yeah. Piano. And then do you hear that? That's a wiro. Um, it's typical in um, merengues and in chachas. And that's what this whole series is about. Sonic Tonic is going, well, I never really paid attention to that. Check out the wiro right there. Let's see if it's still playing from there. Yeah. Latin music is one of my favorite things. I actually went to University of Miami in Florida, and I hadn't even really played any salsa until then. And then it's been part of my life. Every major city has at least one great salsa band. Colorado, you know, Denver Boulder has probably six. Um, so if you like that stuff, ask around. Contact me anytime and let me know. Um, by the way, that was probably Jose on the Wiro there. Um, okay, let's get into some of this cool stuff. Uh, wait, first of all, um, I'm going to double whammy today. I got some Cabo Wabo. That's funny, I mentioned Van Halen. You know, uh, this is, what's his name? Sammy Hagar is the one who um, owns the Cabo Wabo. Maybe he's only part owner, I don't know. I've been to Cabo Wabo in Cabo. Just saying that makes me need a drink. <laughs> uh, while I'm pouring that, we should listen again to um, Quench, because we're going to watch these lyrics and we're going to talk about them for a second. We might go a little longer than a half an hour today. If you guys have to go, I understand. But um, there's no re really to go. So let's chill! Um, so Quench, listen to the lyrics again. Jim Britton. My good friend in Madison, Wisconsin, he's singing the vocals. He used to be in DKO. I wrote the lyrics, and it took me a while to just get the flow and the pacing and the meaning. I always love double meanings, so listen a little closely. Quench, Rutgers, baby, got to get liquid inside me. Quench, my hot spot, don't stop turning, burning, yearning for my love. Uh. Quench my hot desires, be stuff with quick, can put out the fire. Now throw me in a trench, because I got to get trench, just quench. I'm so thirsty, thirsty, won't you please have mercy. Man, there's nothing like tequila. So there's kind of nothing like salsa. There's kind of nothing like jazz. Um, and it's kind of like you like it or you don't. And if you don't like it, it means maybe you haven't spent enough time with it. So that's what Sonic Tonic is about, too. It's like, I mean, I could take a whiff of that any time of the day and go, oh, yeah, it's tequila. I mean, there's nothing, it's not nothing like bourbon. Just like jazz is nothing like rock. I love both, but. I haven't had Cabo Wabo in a while. That is really good. Reposado, medium aged, you know. That is happening. Let me know what you guys like to drink. Hit me to some new uh, tequilas. 
if you guys are uh, into that thing. Um, so let's check this out. Here's lyrics. Um, I just took it off of the CD that I have. I showed you before, right there. Let's listen again. Quench! My thirst, baby, got to get liquid inside me. Quench! My hot spot, don't stop turning, burning, yearning for my love. Uh. Quench my hot desires, please stop me quick and put out the fire. Now throw me in a trench, cause I got me in trench. Just quench! I'm so thirsty, thirsty, just quench! I'm so thirsty, thirsty, won't you please have what you just... Yeah. How about a little larger? One more time. I'm big into multiple listenings. That's how you go deep. Um, there's so much surface stuff happening these days. I love taking it and then going, wait, let, maybe I can listen to some other stuff that's going on or understand the meaning. So the lyrics here are on the left. The Spanish stuff comes up later. So here it is. Quench, mother's baby, got to get liquid inside me. Quench. Mm -hmm. So it took me a while because I was just thinking I want sort of kind of a chant rap type thing, but um I also was like into this double entendre thing and we don't want to go too too uh rated r here but you can read into this i thought it was fairly clever um it can be just i'm thirsty but it can also be you know you're kind of uh f feeling some passion for your anyone you're attracted to one more time quench my thirst baby got to get liquid inside me quench my hot spot don't stop earning burning yearning for my love uh. quench my hot desires please stop me quick and put out the fire now throw me in a trench cause it got me in trench just quench i'm so thirsty thirsty just quench i'm so thirsty thirsty won't you please have what you just That was a fun little project too because you know anything you the anything that's in your beverage anything that's in your food uh, a movie a book i mean it doesn't just happen you know i mean someone had to think about it have an idea and then you have to kind of uh, work your way through this flow and and get it on paper and i actually love it and hate it at the same time because it kind of consumes your thoughts and it's a lot of work um and I can get a little irritable because I can't get it off my brain, or I know there's the answer. It's like I'm chipping away at a sculpture, but it's not all neat and clean yet. So then, oh man, I gotta go, you know, go to a gig, and and then I'm kind of like, eh, but I I want to work through this because I'm confused, and um and then it's good to get away because then I go to salsa gig, play the salsa gig, come driving on the way home or something and then all of a sudden i'm going oh yeah quench and then i'm going "Ooh, that would be neat to include this thing or whatever you know getting away from your work then launches these new ideas and thoughts it's pretty sweet um so the that halftime thing i wanted to get away from this you know kind of up tempo and have it chill for a second and then i thought it would be cool to have different languages be saying stuff about thirst you know quench i've just always liked that word and i always try to do something a little different 
not the same old thing. So how can I, how can I express this in a new way? And then I have friends who, you know, speak different languages. So there's Japanese in there, French, um, Spanish and English, just different phrases. And then I'm, I'm kind of using those as elements of, um, composition. I just would go to their house and record them, you know, on my phone and say, say some stuff. And then I'm like, Oh, that sounds really cool phonetically, you know? And then I end up use kind of tweaking it later. So let's see if we can, um, hear just a little bit of that again. Where is it? Yeah. French. French. I love this. <laughs> Poo de bluey. <laughs> I love that. I was like, oh, that's cool. Uh, and I'm embarrassed to say that I forgot um, the woman's name that recorded that for me. Um, she did the Spanish, I mean, the uh, Japanese and the French. And she was like, oh, this work might be cool, you know. And then uh, I ended up putting them in. So now this section we're getting to right here, this is fun. Uh, my good friend Mike Turnbull, who now lives in Vegas, we've uh, met at Allstate Jazz Band um, in 1986. And uh, we've seen each other all over the world, and we kind of hand off gigs. I played for Tom Jones, and then I gave him the gig because I had to go do Matchbox 20. And we've seen, and he was in town. Um, when I recorded with Michael Brecker in New York City. So I stayed in his room that pa Tom Jones was paying for. And then I went to the session. I said, Mike, you want to come and maybe you could um, video stuff. So if you've seen online any of the video of this the session that I did with Michael Brecker, that's Mike Turnbull. So <laughs> Mike, hopefully I'll make sure you see this. Um, but for his uh, bachelor party, him and his sister and me and my sister went out in Denver and we're riding around and all this craziness. And <laughs> he, uh, his sister, Wendy, who designed, look at, look at the quench right here. She, I used some of her artwork. Everything's, everything's related, man. Um, quench, that's part of, look at that design underneath there. It's a painting Wendy Turnbull did. And Mike Turnbull um, was all tipsy, and he was standing out of the top of the car, the sunroof, and he was just going crazy. And we were cranking, we were on a Mexican station and cranking that uh, Tejano music, and then he was making up, like, he, he, he can speak Spanish, but he was going crazy. And that was literally on a f video on my phone. In pro in nineteen, uh, who knows what that was? Two thousand two, yeah. Um, and I took that, and it's on the recording here. And this whole next thirty seconds, man. I mean, it took a long time to kind of craft this. It's my friends with Tom Jones, Frank Strauss, Kenny Anderson, um, uh, Don, Mike. Uh, who else is in there? Pam's in there, and. Uh, my friend, I don't think Wendy said anything that, <laughs> so <laughs> listen to this. It's right here. It's when this breakdown happens, but you can listen deep in there and try to go, what's going on? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Danny Falcone is in my friend. 
And then back me in a trench because I got to get dressed just crash. I'm so thirsty, thirsty, just crash. I'm so thirsty, thirsty, won't you please have one thing? And then I thought, how about saying the same kind of quench, um, I'm hot, quench my thirst in Spanish? So my friend Pam, she helped me with these. That's Francisco Mejias. Lyrics. Then break it up. Trombone. Yeah. So, and I wanted that bing, gang, gay, dang, gang. It's a little different than the normal clave. I realize that. Um, but there's five hits, right? Bing, bing, be, de, ding. Three, two clave. Bing, bump, ba, da, da. Gang, gang, da, da, da. And um, th then I couldn't believe that, like, the same kind of lyrics would match up and be um, possible with just the syllables of it. But it was very cool. So here was this, right? And I realized that second phrase there, second stanza, second verse, second coro is uh, misspelled there. And instead, it's they should both be the same. Two, two me mojadas. Um, and you know what? This is how it works. I can, uh, there's no time like the present. Boom, it's fixed. Woo! Okay, so what the heck does all that mean? Check this out. Gets a little R-rated, so if you're shy, you better look away. That's the translation. Spanish on the left, English on the right. So let's go back and uh, see how that sounds in real life again. To the four chord. So one thing that makes that, in my opinion, exciting is there's a lot of that Latin rhythms going on. Remember the four names? Clave. That's the the core skeleton, that's why I called that tune skeleton when we first started this session today. Clave, cascada, that's that deet, 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 deet. Um, Montuno, that's always the piano. Uh, Miami Sound Machine, man, they were like 
they hit it hardcore. I was so excited to go to University of Miami because that was big then, late 80s, right? Um, so they had the ro rock pop rhythms with Latin. And what's the main thing you hear? Kind of this Latin percussion and Montuno, the piano. Conga, right? That tune. I mean, it's so cool. It sounds even good today. And that was like uh, 35 years ago. Nuts. Um, and then the last thing was the tune bow, where the bass changes. The bass isn't like bop, bop, bop. He's, he's like boo, boo, ding, gong, 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 gong. So all that's going on, and it's cool. And then there's the lyrics. But then to me, it's got to go somewhere. And salsa, I mean, Latin music in general is pretty advanced harmonically. So when it rises up and you're like, oh, my God, yeah, take it to 11. What's happening? We went to the four chord. This isn't like genius stuff. It's pretty common. But go away from A minor. We're in A minor. We've been there. We've been living there. And then all of a sudden you go and say, oh, yeah, it took me to a new place. It's like I'm eating um, steak and potatoes, and that's all you're doing. Or even just the steak. I mean, you got to go to the potato so that it breaks it up. And then how about some salad? And then how about a little taste of your vino? right? And not just trying to get through it. You're going, man, that tastes really good. But I kind of want to shift it a little bit. What should I do? Let me eat some of the green beans. And it's different. That's what this is. The D minor kind of turns into our green beans. So let's listen to that a little bit. We're in here. No, that was too far. I already passed it. Oh, no, I wasn't. This is still A minor. One chord. But only for eight bars. And now, back. Now bring in the lyrics again. Yeah, um, that is so fun with the mixing, I think, of the funk and this kind of rap hip hop loops and stuff and then mixing it with traditional salsa and then you add the lyrics and you add the horns and then you think about the chord progression there's a lot going on i mean i don't know how many hours it took to write that tune record it mix it and produce it um a lot a lot of time and then you just listen and the song is like um uh i don't know four minutes and it just goes by. That's why you need multiple listenings, because at, at any moment you can stop and you can go deeper and then go, whoa, um, what's happening in there? And try to figure out a little more. And doing it in slow, repetitious mind frame, relaxed, sonic tonics being in the moment. So don't just guzzle down your tequila. I see Teresa Montano. She's drinking Don Julio. That's awesome. That's one of the better ones I've ever had. And you don't just go, oh yeah, I'm doing it to get drunk or I'm, uh, I'm thirsty. I just want to get it in my body. I mean, that's what water's for. Um, this is more like, man, what does that taste like? And why do I like it? And 
how is it adding to my life? You know, be in the moment, have fun, enjoy yourself. Um, I hope you guys like this. This is called Sonic Tonic. I'm here every Saturday, five o'clock. And then um, every Friday, I do a thing called Funky Friday. And this next Friday, we're going to be playing Quench. Um, me and my sister Dawn, she's on that recording, but she's going to be playing six different tunes with me. And we're going to have effects on our horn. And it's, it's really cutting edge, cool stuff. So this coming Friday, oh, the date's wrong. Uh, it's May 8th. May 8th is the date. And um, we hope to see you there. But um, thanks so much. Please continue to send your comments. Um, consider um, sending along a few bucks. It only takes 30 seconds. You go to either one of those um, PayPal or Venmo, and it really makes a difference. Helps me um, keep producing these. And um, if you have requests on a certain song or some kind of concept you'd like me to talk about, I'm not claiming to know it all i just uh know some things and i'm always happy to share and um this is fun and thanks for being here i hope you guys are having a great weekend happy cinco de mayo to you coming up uh, on tuesday and then uh, we're looking forward to see you on friday funky friday five o'clock right here so here's a little bit of mambo from the dko latin suite on the album in the now <laughs> 